What's up everyone? Uh, just Jason here. Um, I'm back with the iGrill 2 uh, Bluetooth thermometer that I did an unboxing video about it last week. Uh, I just wanted to uh, do a quick video here uh, setting it up on my uh, smartphone and uh, getting it ready to use tonight. So the first thing we need to do is open it up and this is where you can put the batteries uh, that it came with, just two double A's. So we'll slide those in there. It's pretty easy, the, the top comes off the base pretty, pretty simply, and then you just find if you hook the top in first and then just push down, it'll snap back in. One thing I didn't show in the last video is here's where the four uh, thermometers plug in. So, with the battery on, uh, the next thing we need to do is open up our Play Store and then go and look for the, the Weber iGrill app. I've searched it out before, I haven't installed it yet, so we'll go ahead and install it. Open it up. Happy Analytics. No, we're gonna don't share that for now. So this is the the opening page of the Weber Grill. Let's take a tour on that. It says use Grill's precise th uh, temperature monitoring for perfect results. Never over undercook your meal again. And that's the, the whole reason I wanted to get one of these is that uh, I do okay with steaks, but roasts I can never really tell. And I don't have uh, any other thermometers that work very well. So let's get started here. It's asking you if you want to allow the, the iGrill to find devices. So we'll hit allow on that. Let's see if it finds it here. Okay, so it is finding the, uh, the the unit that I have. So that's the same iGirl 2 that I have. So we'll pair that. did get a pairing request, so I'll go ahead and allow it to pair with the phone. Okay, so it got a, a green check mark there, so uh, it does look like we're, we're paired up with it now. So if we hit continue, updated privacy policy. Well, we'll just dismiss that for now. Newsletter, no thank you. Um, so it looks like there's just a bunch of uh, presets. We've got temperatures. Oh, sorry about that. We've got our temperatures for our four probes here. Uh, we, have, we can set up timers and then we can uh, log in and register our, our thermometers. I won't do any of that right now. Uh, this was basically just a, uh, a quick uh, video or a quick part of the video to show you how to pair it up. I've got the uh, temperature probes here as well. So the next part of the video, I'll cut to uh, me using it uh, later on today when I do a, uh, a roast on the barbecue. So I'll see you then. Okay, so the, uh, the first thing I'm going to use this Bluetooth thermometer for is a nice four pound uh, short rib roast. Uh, I've seared it up on the barbecue and now I'm going to put both probes in. It only actually real time monitors uh, one, uh, but you can see the temperature of the other one as it goes. So 
I figured it was a big enough roast that I might as well put both monitors or uh, both probes in at the same time. And the leads on these are, are nice and long so you can uh, set the, the base pretty much anywhere and get the leads into, into your roast. And here on the app, I'm setting it up, uh, monitoring the food temperature. Uh, this is a short rib roast, so it's beef, of course. And then the app doesn't actually have a setting for a short rib roast, so I just went with a boneless rib roast uh, as the, uh, the setting on it. And here you can set your, your uh, doneness. So I actually wound it up to medium well, which is 150 degrees Fahrenheit. And here's a, a view of it partially done. And then at 142 degrees, I let it go a couple more degrees and then I pulled it off. Uh, I think in the future, I'll probably set it at, uh, at just medium because it actually wound up being a little bit uh, more done than I'd like it to be. It was still good uh, and it's still definitely a helpful tool for monitoring the uh, the temperature of uh, big cuts of meat like this. So overall I was happy with uh, the way it performed. You can see it's a little bit uh, overdone but it wasn't well done like I've done some of the roasts in the past so I was happy with that part. So that's about it for this video. Um, if you want to see more videos, just uh, hit subscribe and turn on the notifications and we'll see you on the next one. Bye bye now.